Shift doesn't just happen. It is happening, constantly and ever more rapidly, especially in the church. For the last several years, the Board of Directors has been sensing that the decade-old mission statement of the conference was no longer helpful in guiding the work of the conference staff and in developing plans for the future. With a new conference minister, new field staff in place, and a newly revitalized board, it became apparent that it was time to re-examine not just the conference's mission, but also its vision for the future and the values that would guide it. So what does it mean to be the still speaking church in the state of Wisconsin? Last fall, the board and staff gathered at Moon Beach for our 2015 retreat. We dedicated our time to that very question. Led by Steve Herbie and Carrie Parker, we began collecting all the words and phrases that not only describe who we are as an organization, but also who we want to be. Certain words came up again and again over those two days. Words like cooperative and caring and compassionate. Words like loving and inspiring. Words like bold and innovative and energizing. Words like creative, courageous, serving, and justice-seeking. Do you notice anything about this list of words? They're filled with possibility, with positivity, with movement. Indeed, they are words filled with hope. For years we, and by we I mean the collective mainline denominations in our nation, have been bemoaning the death of the church. The great declines in membership, money, and involvement steady since the 1950s. But you know what? There was no room for that narrative when your board and your staff gathered to discern our future. I know the plans I have in mind for you, declares God. They are plans for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. There was an overwhelming consensus that it was time to give up this great lament of decline. So we walked away from those two days with little more than a long, long list of words. Hopefully they were optimistic, but also challenging and driving words. And those words served as a foundation for our conversation that would carry on for several months about what it meant for us to be the United Church of Christ throughout the state of Wisconsin. A small writing team was formed after the retreat. We distilled those words in, through several hours of conversation and pages and pages of notes into three proposed statements. One of mission, one of values, and one of vision. The board considered these drafts at its December meeting, shared them with the association leaders in February, and adapted them at our regular meeting later that month. So what do they say? That's the big question, isn't it? First, our mission. Our mission statement tells us what it is that we do as a conference. The Wisconsin Conference of the United Church of Christ equips leaders and congregations to transform lives through the innovative ministry for the 21st century. This is the first place of shift for us at the conference setting. This mission calls us to shift from a place of programming and funding to a place of resourcing, supporting, and connecting. You can already see this shift coming to life on our new website, wcucc.org, now serving as a resource hub for local congregations. Next, our values. Our value statement tells us how we go about this work together, how we do our work, and it reads this. Guided by the great commandments, Jesus' teaching in Matthew 25, and a commitment to extravagant welcome, we will work together to serve God and our neighbors with compassion, to encourage and inspire one another with hope, and to make bold and courageous choices with love. On the day before the annual conference meeting, there was a workshop on adaptive leadership, 
I wasn't able to go, but in my own work with adaptive change, I've learned that there are two things any good leader needs to carry with her before wading into the swamps of an unknown future. First, she must make other she must take other people. This work cannot be done alone, and so we go together. Second, she cannot go forward without first looking back and knowing who she was to begin with. It became quickly apparent in our conversations that this work we do is grounded in the love of God lived out through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. We are unapologetic in this identity. It is indeed an identity that leads us quite clearly into the vision we have for our future. What brings us to the third statement, our vision statement. That is, what will change if we're successful in this mission and our, in our values? Here's what we determined. By 2019, the people of the United Church of Christ in Wisconsin will be energized to be the church in their local context, expressed through passionate work toward a more just and generous world. That is, we will be the church, grounded in the clear teachings of our faith. We will protect the environment. We will care for the poor. We will forgive, and then we'll forgive again. We will reject racism. We will fight for the powerless. We will share our earthly and spiritual resources. We will embrace and celebrate diversity. We will love God. We will find great joy in the future of hope God has set before us. Going forward, these statements will be used to clarify the direction and empower the work of our conference staff and board. We hope that you will take the time to share them with your association and with local church leaders. Things are shifting, and we invite all people of the United Church of Christ in Wisconsin to take these first steps with us into a future filled with hope.